In order to learn in geography, we have to ask geographic questions. And one way to find the answer to those questions is by using a variety of resources. Many geographers today use geographic information systems to explore various topics. Any information that is linked to a location can be displayed as a layer on a map using geographic information systems, which are a computer-based data processing system. Another way that geographers and people interested in geogra geographic questions gather information is by fieldwork, going out to where things are happening, observing, interviewing people, and then documenting uh, with photographs and with reports about the things that they've learned while in the field. Another way to understand the world better and to answer some of our geographic questions is by looking at satellite images. They allow us to visualize the Earth's surface in ways that were not possible for our ancestors. We can look at landforms, waterways, and at evidence of human activity, like these lights on this map. Photographs, <clears throat> other types of photographs are also help us to see the world. We can see remote settlements like this Norwegian fishing village, exotic landscapes like this Moroccan desert, people at work like these Vietnamese salt workers, and people at play like these kids in Cuba playing baseball. Maps and globes help us a lot. They can help us find our way they can show Earth's features and help us analyze relationships like these two maps that show the climate regions of the United States and, and the vegetation regions of the United States and help us think about how they might be related. Sometimes maps can be used to make comparisons. These maps show the GDP per capita or the wealth of various countries in the world. Databases always include location information. See on this chart, one aspect is latitude and another is longitude that helps to pinpoint where the specific feature is located. Another way that we can gather information is by using primary sources. A primary source is something that was created during the time it was, the topic was under study. Um, because many geographic questions have to do with current events, things like news reports, interviews, and even blogs are useful. Here's a blog from the recent earthquake in California talking about one of the problems that people faced there, which was finding their lost pets. Finally, diagrams are useful. These are simplified drawings that show parts of something or how something works. They can show processes, like the water cycle, phenomena like a tornado, or they can just label the parts of an object. Here are one of those giant shipping container ships that we looked at earlier this year. So please take advantage of this great variety of sources to answer your geographic questions.